Hey, it's Todd, hope you're doing well. Look, I just wanted to chuck together a short little video on a topic I think's massively important, which is how do I create changes in my life? And how do I really move the needle to create the life that I wanna create? And this video came about after chatting with someone that was having some, some struggles with maintaining their trajectory, maintaining their results and actually getting their life where they want it to be. And it's funny because like I've been coaching now for almost a decade and for those that know my story know that like I've had some pretty rough spots during my life which have in effect really taught me a lot of things that allow me to share with you, which is probably good. I went through the pain so you can learn from my mistakes, which is good, I guess. But like everyone starts this journey at a different point. Like I've coached people, for example, that are in this place here and creating changes for them, like we do certain things. Like the process is always the same, but the amount of energy, time, effort and resources that goes into it for that person are different. Like if your life is here, you're earning, for example, you guess say some money outcome, right? You're earning $100,000 a year and you wanna make 150 a year, like you're there. That's different to someone that's earning $20,000 a year and they wanna get $100,000 a year. Like there's, 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 there's a different, there's a distance between the, the, the starting lines and everyone's like that. Like for example, like if I coach someone where their life was pretty okay and I'm just helping them fine tune things, that's different in regards to someone whose fucking house is on fire, it's burning down around them, everything's hard, there's no help, there's no support, everything's going wrong, life seems like it's just the worst fucking thing. Like there's a distance there that affects the amount of time, energy, effort and resources that are required to improve our lives. Though what I want to say is that like it doesn't matter the distance between where you are and where you want to get to. We've got one life. So if there was ever anything that you were going to choose to invest your energy, your time, your effort, your resources into, it should be making this life what you want it to be. Like I did a really good job. For those that know my story know this, I did a really, really good job of digging the hole, right? So from when I was like 11 years old, I ran away from home. I was involved with drugs, violence, crime. I was fighting. And like that only ends in one place. 17, boom, I'm in prison. I'm a drug addict. I'm doing ice every single day. I made a pretty good choice there. I stopped doing drugs, which I think was a great life decision. But then I got out and I had so much anger, hate and violence in me. Hurt from my past, hatred towards the people in my lives. And then I became an alcoholic. And then I was fighting and fighting and fighting. Ended up in prison again when I was 18. And like, when I went there this time, I wasn't just in prison for doing all that dumb shit, drinking, violence, crime. I was also in there for something I didn't do. And that was gonna cost me 10 to 15 years. And it was my lowest of lows. And it was a point where I had a, a really empowering moment, which is quite funny. <laughs> Take the person away, strip everything away from them, leave them completely trapped, and they might find themselves. And that's what happened to me. And I realized that it was all me. And it was very empowering because I kind of had this, see, I didn't know what I wanted to do. And I tell people that when I got out of prison, how, you know, I tell a story and people go, they clap and they cheer and they go, wow, that's amazing, it's so inspirational. And they go, wow, that was great, you got out. But like, yeah, I got out after like having an epiphany and a realization and life's like, fuck, he finally got it. But then I got out and I hit the next fucking, the next obstacle, which was, I had no skills, I had no direction, had no idea who I wanted to, who I wanted to be, what I wanted to do, no mentors, like, all I knew is who I did not want to be. And I did a really good job, seven years, probably roughly yeah, seven years of digging a hole. So like, I wanna say that wherever you are, however big the hole is in your life, that's the thing that's gonna determine the amount of effort, energy and resources you have to put into changing things. And when I got out, like, I guess I was lucky where I, maybe I was, I, was, I was either too dumb or not dumb enough or I don't know, but like, I didn't expect things to instantly become better. And this person that I was chatting to, this is what they were doing. They were, they were expecting everything to change like that. And the fact is, is that it doesn't work like that. Like you can get rid of all of your emotional baggage, you can shift your beliefs, you can shift your values, you can learn new strategies for navigating life. But depending on where you're starting, right? If you're here, might be a bit easy to get shit on track. If you're over here and the fucking house is on fire, like there's just more work, there's more consistency. And like my life is, an ex is, a, is, is a real example of just remaining consistent because when I got out, I didn't know what the fuck I wanted to do. And it was still hard. It was just hard in a different way. But I just consistently made better choices, better decisions. I see, remained, I guess, what we call an NLP at cause. I'm like, I'm gonna get this on track. I'm gonna fix my life. I'm gonna do something I can be proud of. 
And with that, 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 I guess, focus on who I did not want to be, and obviously subconsciously is there's the opposite, like that allowed me to make just better choices. And it's like, what's his name? Um, the guy that wrote the slide edge. He goes, it's easy to make a good choice and it's easy to make a bad choice. And if you stretch that out over time, a little choice upon a little choice over time becomes a different life. At the exact same time, allowing yourself to make the bad choices, like it, it does the opposite effect. So you can end up in two completely different places just from making slightly different choices. And if you wanna change your life, like you don't eat the fucking elephant with one mouthful, right? You, you, you nibble at it, you take small bites, and over time, boom, you eat the entire elephant. So when it comes to creating changes in your life, here's what you need to do. Depending on where you are, how big the fucking hole is, you need to understand that things don't just instantly become perfect. And that's okay. You don't have to have everything perfect instantly because you didn't get there into that situation like that. I wasn't just boom one day waking up and I'm sitting in a fucking prison cell facing 10 years, right? Like I did a lot of dumb shit to land there. And then I got out, it took me seven years to get myself to a place I could say comfortably that, you know what, I'm proud of where I am now. Seven years, all right? Now that might, obviously, that's not gonna happen for you. Like within 12 months, my life was much better. Within 24 months, it was even better. Then within, you know, three months, uh, between three years, it was better again. Like it was always improving. But like for me, the, the real turning point where I just looked at my life and went, fuck, I'm really in a different place now, was around the seven year mark for me. So just understand, like it's, it's incremental growth and change. And that's okay. Like you just have to make a better choice on a better choice on a better choice and enjoy the journey, right? Understand, enjoy the little victories, enjoy the little wins, reward yourself, celebrate the little victories. Because remember, when you do something new that is the opposite of what you used to do, that, 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 that commands respect. You should, you should respect yourself and have pride in yourself for being able to do that. And if you continue to do that over time, believe me, you'll look back after a couple of years and go, holy shit, I have just completely redesigned my life. I've made it something I can be proud of. But it doesn't happen overnight. It takes work and effort. See, we reward people out here in public without ever considering all the things that they do in private. And understand that, you get rewarded in public for the things that you do in private. So you have to make sure that your input, you're putting the right input in, right? So you're listening to motivation, you're priming your mind, you're visualizing the success and the results that you want. You're constantly uh, recalibrating yourself so that you're, you're focused on the future. You're focusing on what you want. You know, you're focusing on what you have instead of things that you don't have. You're focusing on the present and the future instead of worrying about things from the past. You know, you're being grateful, you're being positive, you've got a positive mental attitude. You do that every single day and believe me, little choice upon little choice changes your life. And that's how we make change easy. Now, obviously, if you go through and you do coaching and for example, NLP time on therapy, you can use those tools and hypnotherapy as well to start to, to accelerate the process. But even when you get rid of your baggage, you shift your values, you shift your beliefs, you still, depending on how deep your hole is, how, how much you've dug it out, you still have to remain focused and take massive action. And that's the difference between the person that does change their life and the person that doesn't. So become obsessed with act action, become obsessed with incremental change, become obsessed with your future and what you wanna make. And believe me, over time, it will happen. Yes, you're gonna get setbacks, I definitely fucking did. And yes, you are gonna get things that pop up, but be grateful because if you weren't taking action, you wouldn't hit obstacles. Think about the, the, the whole premise of an obstacle means that you're moving towards an outcome. If you don't have an outcome, you can't have an obstacle. So if you get an obstacle, then say yes, then fuck for that. Obviously I'm doing something. But anyway, this video has gone longer than I wanted it to go to. So just to wrap it up, to recap, change isn't this thing that happens like that, okay? We all got to where we got to from taking various actions, right? Some people have a massive fucking hole that they've dug, some people have got a smaller hole. The thing that makes a difference though, is that you just remain committed, you invest your energy, resources, and time into improving your life consistently every single fucking day, right? And over time, remember, better choice, better choice, better choice, better choice, better choice, life changes forever. It's never instant. So let go of that expectation that life should be perfect from day dot. That's false. Life gets better as you just remain consistent to your vision. Anyway, take care. I'll speak to you soon.